Step one to a safe and healthy day at the Magic Kingdom. Protect even yourself from the Florida sun. Even though it was raining on it right here. But, but you never know. Yeah. No. So I mean, far. here's blue skies. There's even rain. It's cloudy, you can get some. There's clouds. There's blue skies. There's rain. Where's... Where's the espresso machine? Do you want one? No. I want espresso. Look at this beautiful lobby. Beautiful fountain. Beautiful horse. Beautiful chest set. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. Beautiful fire water. It has been a long time since I got a fresh haircut and went straight to the, to the Disney parks. So I feel like it's got to be a good day. But now we're here and today is I think the first time that we're going to be at Magic Kingdom and it's open until midnight. Don't know if we're going to be here with no party. No party. Just fun for everyone. Just magic all around. It may be hot and busy, but it's never a bad time for Liver Lips. Hey, Liver Lips! We got a hoedown about to start. Nutella. What'd you say? Nutella. Nutella that we're getting on it. <laughs> that was a cheesy joke. You tell them. We're at Sleepy Hollow Refreshment for a delicious treat. And it is a little warm out. Toasty. And, and a little crowded. Are you can't tell from the street right here that it's packed because everybody is in line. She's got her Nutella waffle. How the heck do you eat this thing? You eat it like a monster. Look at that waffle. Fruit, Nutella, deliciousness. No, eat it like a, like a mongrel. It's gonna be good. Get it like a burrito. Just make sure you do it over the plate. Is it good? Don't mind the founding fathers back there. We're just patriotic, okay? It looks like it's going to downpour. Looks like it's going to downpour any minute now. But we decided since we haven't done the train in like a full circumference of the park in who knows how long, we're gonna sneak our way over to the Main Street Station and hop on the Disney World Railroad and take it for a loop. At least then, like, if it does start to rain, we can hop from here to the Christmas store, Christmas store to Emporium, Emporium to the train station, and then we'll be good. Right? Uh-huh. Plus, we have our little ponchos, but after yesterday's debacle with Hollywood Studios, I'm okay not getting rained on. Yeah. We are interrupting the normal scheduled program to let you know that there are Christmas lights everywhere on the castle. Look at it. Christmas lights on that terrace. Christmas lights on all those terraces. There's Christmas lights. Are those called terraces? <laughs> I don't know, what, peaks, pointy things on a castle. They're everywhere, there's, there's lights all over the castle. Christmas. Let's walk down this to see the move and shake it. Okay. I give you Christmas lights. Oh yeah. It's almost time.
Look, we're stuck on the people mover. Maybe we'll get evacuated off this and get a fast pass. <laughs> That'll be the first thing in the way. treehouse we haven't gotten this in a while and I love it and I like it not I love the Disneyland one because it's got Tarzan but I love this one because it's just like classic but I can never get the name right Swiss tree family Swiss yes family but I always mess up the order and what you say and everything it's one of those things where it's like you don't know what you got till it's gone like I forgot I mean, I knew it was slower lately, the past couple of weeks, like maybe two or three weeks. In the parks, I knew it was like slow because we lived here during the, uh, like the holidays and this time before, so we know how crazy it gets. But it was really crazy, like it was just like that, like, boom. 45 minutes for pirates. 45 minutes for pirates. It's just a... It's a gauge right there. Small World was 30 earlier. But you know what? We're just... We're just enjoying walking around and we're, we're actually gonna camp out a spot for a happy ever after at 8 o'clock and sit there for an hour because we haven't done that in a long time and we haven't had like a solid head-on view of the fireworks. That's, what, that, that, that's what's on the agenda. In Tortuga Cavern, why I was surprised is only selling turkey legs and hot dogs. Really? I didn't know that. Oh my gosh. So... We're, about, we're walking through the castle because there, and Sarah pointed out, there are some crazy, crazy storm clouds coming. Oh! I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get, get closer. It's so scary because it's like, it's right at the train station. Trust me when I say that the clouds in real life compared to on this camera are at least like three times as dark. But look at that storm system that's rolling in. After yesterday's debacle with Hollywood Studios, I'm okay not getting rained on. Yeah. I looked on the radar, it doesn't look too big, like maybe they'll, hopefully they'll come in and, and leave and like only be here for like 20 minutes. If you follow along our adventures, you know that uh, storms and things of that matter don't scare Sarah and myself from the parks. So we will be staying through it. If this castle's gonna stay here, we're gonna stay here. We found ourselves in a bit of a predicament. We have our ponchos on because there's a bad storm, but it's like a small storm, but it's pretty intense in the radar. It's coming in right there, as you just saw on the time lapse, but uh, it's starting to rain and we're not sure if we should be like, stay out and for, uh, guarantee us a really good spot because I know the second it starts downpouring, a lot of these people here are going to evacuate. Or if we should be proactive and go find a spot to hide because if it gets real bad then there won't really be a spot for us to hide. I'm kind of leaning towards standing out and then just waiting and see because... I'm foolish like that. What are you feeling? I'm kind of feeling the same. So let's go like towards, this is our, for anybody to know, this is my favorite spot in the entire world, right here, to watch the nighttime festivities. Because when Disney World is not weird and actually has a nighttime parade, you stand right here, you watch the nighttime parade, you turn around, 10 minutes later, boom, you watch your projection show. 10 minutes later, boom, you watch your fireworks. Perfect nighttime spectacular. 
achieved. We fought through the rain, and I gotta give mad respect to Justin and Emily. They stuck it out with us. I was worried they weren't going to since the storm, but we're doing it. We're in it for the long haul. We got a good spot. I, you guys, it's my favorite spot of all time. We're gonna hold hands and deny. It won't be weird. Get out. Oh my god, look at my hair, look at from, my it, hair. from it being wet. So, we did a terrible job vlogging. We went to the Top of the World Lounge with Gem Sessions, had a great night. Had a wonderful margarita pizza, mm -hmm. pretzels, bisonhead pork Yay! sliders. Oh, super good. Really good drinks, really good company. It was a great time. Um, for some reason, they wouldn't let us on the monorail, even though I see people going on the monorail here. I think they're just taking people from Magic Kingdom. They're not letting anybody else. Which was offensive. And uh, we're about to take the boat back to Grand Floridian. Sarah? Yes? How come, uh... We've been finding ourselves here a lot lately. How come we, we tend to find ourselves here at this resort? So you just like the smell. We, to be honest, like... That is like 80% of why we come here is because of how this resort smells. This Honestly, lobby. Honestly, our, our first like apartment after we were married, we got hand soap that smelled like this. And we just like kept getting it because it's like... Yeah. We love it so much. But to be honest, that's, that's the majority of it. The other reason why is it's comfy. The other reason why is it's beautiful. But number one reason, hands down, is the smells. Because you know Disney, you know Disney smells. Um, let's go that way. We're trying to like beeline to the car tonight, not like mosey through the pool into the DVC mm -hmm. building. I'm trying to beeline to the car because it's late, and we're supposed to be at we're supposed to be at Epcot in like eight, eight, hours. eight hours from now, and we have to like go home and do button stuff, um, yeah, do Eve stuff. We reveal our artwork for our next month. We're supposed tonight. we're supposed to have revealed our artwork like three minutes ago because it's just after midnight, but. We're gonna Fine. modify it this month, it's okay. Yeah. Well, hello everybody. Usually it's me who falls asleep first and Peter doesn't sign up by himself, but tonight he is asleep. We're ready for an early morning at Epcot for the 35th anniversary and we had a great night. We really enjoyed our time with Gem Sessions and just a Saturday at the Magic Kingdom, we haven't had one in a while. So we're off to bed and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>